right, we're back, and we have a special guest with us today. We have a group from USC's own Off Off Broadway. Hi, how y'all doing? Good, how are you? All right, so y'all want to start by introducing yourselves? Okay. Hi, I'm Jordan Christian Thomas, and I'm the public relations officer of Off Off Broadway, and in the show I played the role of the president. I'm Tyler Quell. I'm the writer and composer of the show, and I'm an ensemble member in the show. I'm Thomas Poteet. I'm the treasurer of the organization, and I play the dropout in the show. Okay, so I guess the first thing we should talk about is what is y'all's upcoming show? So the title of our upcoming show is The Restaurant, Millennial Commentary on Middle America, and essentially the plot revolves around this chain restaurant where every so often the corporation that owns the restaurant will have a conference. And at the conference, representatives from across the nation get the chance to have their voices heard by the corporation. And the show is about this allegory of the election and it's intentionally obvious um, in terms of how on the nose the allegory is because the actual show focuses on the events that surround the election and the aftermath of it. Okay, so the, when is the show shows next weekend? What times, are, what times and where can they see you guys next weekend? Um, the shows are from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. And then from... 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. And it's at Benson Theater across from Bates West. Um, the address is 226 Bull Street. And it's free. Yes, it's free. Always a <laughs> bonus, right? Okay, so I guess we should talk about... Um, so y'all wrote... You wrote the, the show. Mm-hmm. How was that... Do you, what made you decide to just... I'm going to write a musical. Yeah, so Off Off Broadway every... Um, around April, we'll have our elections for the following year. So last April, the position for writer was up because every fall we do a student-written show. And usually the shows we, t- we try to do are reviews where a student will write the script and the music will be taken from other sources, such as other shows that have been performed, and they'll adapt the lyrics to fit their plot. And so last April, I decided to run for the position of writer with the idea that I would write my own songs. And so this whole process began. We had our elections, and then essentially I was left with a summer to write this show. Did you, did you write by yourself? Did you, like, contact other people to be like, hey, I need help with this? How'd that go? Yeah, so I actually I had the benefit of being around other <laughs> previous writers from the organization. So I was in close contact with them. Uh, they sim- they since graduated, but they helped me really develop the plot outline I had in my head. They helped me make it. Um, adaptable to a stage. They made sure everything would translate well. Uh, I pitched ideas to them. They either shot them down or developed them or were like, yeah, that's a great idea. So they really helped me clean up the show and pitch it to um, Off Off Broadway, the organization. What gave you inspiration to write this this show? Anything particular, just events happening around the world, you into politics? Yeah, I've, I've always liked um, satires, so originally it was going to be a political satire because that's what's always that's what's been on our mind lately. And as I began to write it, um, it kind of departed from that satire nature. The satirical um, elements of the show kind of subsided. They're still present a little bit, and it became more of a commentary and just kind of a, a view into millennials and how we look at the situations we're in and how we... Um, adapt how we communicate with each other during these situations in the aftermath. So how has it been for y'all to to write or not to write but to work on performing this show that that your peers wrote? I don't know I I've had a blast doing it um Tyler wrote in a bunch of uh like kind of quippy lines and those are really fun to say um there's like fourth wall breaks and stuff like that so it's really (laughs) fun just um like figuring out how to present the characters as as we're given them and just to build them based off of like we're millennials and the character that I'm playing is a millennial so it's like okay cool I just gotta put a bit of myself into it and like the way I view things and influence the character that way I've had a blast with it do you feel like this production like y'all have taken a a different approach to performing or to to rehearsals or anything because it was student written as opposed to having to find something and then adjust to it yeah, it's definitely been a process. Um, there have been times where the music that I've written hasn't worked and we've had to adjust it. There have been times where the script, um, certain lines just don't sound good. Um, 
when they're translated to the stage that sounded good in my head and then we say them in rehearsal <laughs> and we're just like oh wow that's not a good line and so we there have been a lot of adjustments we've had to made uh, we've had to make and overall like the accumulation of all those adjustments have made it into a great show a lot better than it was three months ago which is crazy and I think that's kind of a testament to how unique it is that we're doing like a student written show because um, people have had to no one has a basis with which they can cre like act they're creating their own characters for the first time these characters have never been done before so it gives a lot of freedom and it's also a challenge and I think it's been a really unique experience definitely so what are rehearsals like for you guys you want to try that a little bit um so not everyone who joins our organization is there to sing act and dance so um one of the first things we do is um, call certain people for certain rehearsals and we usually start with music rehearsals to lay a foundation for the show and then we move on to blocking and then once we get to our venue we really start working on set blocking dancing everything else um, acting and then as we are in right now we have tech week and we really throw it all together and then we rehearse up to the show week and then show week we just put it on so it's a it's a pretty quick process we work around everyone's schedules um, to make sure everyone's available. Um, it's very touch and go. So how do y'all, let me start over. How did y'all know that you wanted to do this? Is this something y'all have been doing since freshman year? Were you just like, I wanna be a student actor? Um, well, I've been acting since high school and I really enjoy it. And uh, I wasn't planning on doing like a theater major when I got into college, and so I was like, hmm, so I'm going to be a STEM major, but uh, I really love acting, so what can I do about that? And so I think at orientation, there was a slide on the PowerPoint that they were showing that said off off Broadway. And I was like, hmm, musicals, I could get behind that. And so, yeah, starting uh, freshman year, I just went up to their table at the Oregon Fair, and I was like, hi, I'd like to join your organization. They're like, heck yeah, let's do that. So. That's why I do musicals. I was in Mulan in sixth grade, and I loved it. <laughs> why did you join Off Off then? I joined Off Off because I wanted another experience like Mulan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I joined my sophomore year. I actually had a friend already in it, and um, I did a lot of musical theater in high school, and there's not a lot of opportunities to do musical theater that really works with the college student schedule besides this organization, so that was my main um, goal to join because I know that some of the theaters around here are more, um, what's the word? Rigorous? Like. Yeah, they're rigorous and more like accommodated to um, like working adults and not necessarily students. Okay, so Off Off Broadway is not one of the more well-known organizations on campus, so what do people, what do you, what do y'all want people to know about your organization? Um, it's we're very adaptable we're very flexible we take anyone and everyone who's um, interested at all and we have really a place for everyone as well like even if you don't have any interest in actually going on stage we have something for you and we are we're also like as a community we are very accepting of each other we I don't think we've ever like had a problem where no one wants to befriend someone else like we all just jump in and become a family really quickly that is awesome. Well, y'all need to keep in, uh, keep your ears plugged. Once again, this is going to have its debut next Thursday is opening night? Right. Next Thursday. So make sure that you go out, you support your fellow Gamecocks and all those on-campus orgs and the arts because the arts don't get enough credit for how hard y'all work in my personal humble opinion. Um, but I really like plays and musicals, and so that's... That's kind of my jam. All right, well, we will be right back after this quick break. 